kind of um, goes along slow like that for a few minutes, and then uh, and then they break into this jam uh, called Searching for Madge, and um, it's super fast. It's just... Which, if you're a bass player, to do that for five minutes straight, <laughs> it's agony. I mean, it's, it's hard to do it, but. After about four minutes, you feel like every tendon in your hand is about to pop, and uh, you just got to figure out how to get through it while the guitar players stand out in front and just jam away. But, uh, so anyway, that was um, a, a, a lot of time spent on that particular band, but they were one of our main influences for sure. And uh, when we put Aerosmith together with Steven and Joey and Brad, we continued playing these songs, and a lot of the early uh, Yardbird songs, and, Zeppelin and the Who, and um, we, we, we only take gigs where we can play the songs that we liked. You know, people think of us as being this as a club band. Well, there was no clubs in Boston where you could play unless you played Tom Forty. You know, like the Four Seasons, you know, Frankie Valley, and you know, we didn't want to do that, and uh, we also didn't want to. Burn Stevens' voice out playing five sets a night for uh, six nights a week. So we took a lot of high school dances and frat parties and anywhere where we could play those songs that we really loved. And, uh, you know, it never failed to get them up and dancing. So that was our goal, was always to get the audience up and dancing. Thank you, Thank you.